Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I am the captain, but not the one that... Recently. Go there. <laughs> Don't go there. That's a bad place to go. I'm the it's good too, captain. It's too early for that. Captain of her heart. Remember that? No. You never remember that tune? No. You've made it up, haven't you? No. It was an amazing tune. We're, we're very tired, aren't we, Lee? We're quite tired. We're quite actually, tired. Actually, I'm waking up. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to sleep. We're, like a we're not actually in the same... Have you ever seen the video to Ebony and Ivory by Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder? Basically, that's what it is. I'm, I'm in a different country, in a different time zone, and Rob's uh, very different tired planet. in a different planet, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, live together in perfect, perfect harmony Side by side on my piano keyboard Oh, Lord! Um... I'm here to shoot a demonstration video with Captain Anderson here Professional. from Anderson's professionally of this Fender guitar. So far it's not going very well. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> we'll soon change that though. Yes. Right. Fender Modern Player. A series of guitars that came out last year, so that's 2011. Uh, and was designed to kind of sit uh, above Squire Classic Vibe, but below the kind of the Fender Standard series. Um, with some... Uh, kind of crazy, well not too crazy, but sort of, you know, guitars that maybe might have been but never were. Uh, lots of sort of, sort of modded versions of, a couple of modded versions of Strats and Tellys and Jaguars and that very funky Marauder thing that we uh, videoed last year. Um, the two best-selling modern player guitars are the two Telecasters, and that's why we couldn't demo them last time, because they were selling so fast they didn't have any. So, we now have some, and the first one is the Telecaster something plus. Telecaster plus. Uh, get it, get it right, boo -boo -boo It's the Fender Modern Player plus. Telecaster plus, plus in charcoal transparent, this particular one. And it also comes in a very fetching sunburst as well, which if you go to the Anderspoons website, you can find... Transparent would just be nothing. Yeah, it would be, it's right. What, transparent charcoal? Yeah. Have or you black, seen? as we call it in well, it's, England. It's trans black. Oh, I just put my finger on it and made a mark right through it. That's all right. Um, so tell me the features of this guitar, Mr. C. Well, it's got a maple neck, and it's just a, like a one-piece. There's no fretboard, which is a very nice thing. Lacquered? Um, lacquered, yeah. Skunk stripe down the back, which is nice. Looks like a skunk. Uh, Does it smell like one? Oh, it's got that nice smell of, of bedtime. So not like a skunk, then? No. No. Um, Pine body, which I really like. Yeah. Because, listen. Yeah? Yeah. I could do that all day long. What about you? Um, <laughs> you know, when I used to, when I was about 14 and first started working in a guitar shop, well, in Anderson's, obviously, um, we had a sales guy that used to do that to customers all the time. And it was it was his own little wind-up practical joke. He used to go, he used to listen, listen. Can you, and, can you hear that? And then the customers would literally go, yeah, yeah, I can hear that. Like that. <laughs> and every single guitar just sounded like someone knocking on a piece of wood. I don't know. It was his little joke. So sorry if you bought a guitar from sort of from 1985. His <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from a salesman that basically did that. It's all bullshit, basically. Yes. Uh, um, unless it's an acoustic guitar, in which case it isn't. Um, <laughs> so, a uh, pine body, which is really cool. Three pickups. This is a humbucker. Two single coils. This one's a lipstick. No yep. difference at all. It's just a single coil. Yep. That's a single coil as well. They're the same, they just look different. But they sound different because they're in different positions They are on the in different body. positions, that's true. Uh, and we've got a little switch here that will coil tap the humbucker. So in total we've got the, the five positions here, um, but of course the, the back position on the humbucker can give you a couple of different tones. So you've got seven sounds. Seven sounds. Seven sounds. Seven sounds, seven sounds to go with the seven seas of rye and the seven <sighs> sisters road in Chertsey. I don't know about you. Brought, brought to you <laughs> by the word, by the letter K and the number Four. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not I tell you what, I'm, I'm not really into that. Like I see it all the time. I like. <laughs> Where do you really... see it all the time? <laughs> Plums.com with us. Like, like you just kind of think. There's currency there. You know, like you're on the wrong bit. What are you doing? You missed. You know. How'd you end up down there? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not very well, in case you haven't noticed. Oh. Uh, this is a six string guitar. None yes. of that dilly dallying around with seven or eight. No, there's no gent here. Well, there might be a bit of gent, but there's not a lot. Well, there could be, but yeah, it isn't really designed for that. It's designed for everything else though. Yeah, it's a silly price, 350 pounds, or just under 350 pounds. Um, 
which it's an awful lot of guitar for that kind of money. It really is. Uh, nice and light, isn't it? Yeah. I guess because it's a pine body. Yeah, medium jumbo frets. C-shaped profile, mm. uh, nine and a half inch radius. Mm. Um, so very, you know, typical Strat, Strat scale length. I thought there were such nice people in the videos. Now, whenever you do that, it always sounds like the introduction to that U2. Um... That's not the rock rabbit, Lee. Sorry, what was it? Rock rabbit! And I make it hop, make it hop. <laughs> it's so, fair to say we have a lot of fun <coughs> shooting our Anderton's videos. Um, so let's just uh, stick it on the dirty humbucker, give us some dirty dirt from this here empty fire, and, uh, and, then, we'll, fire. <laughs> and then we'll play out <laughs> and then try another one. <laughs> all the modern player guitars so far haven't we? Yeah, yeah they're all well, really well made. Oh you've got a tummy cut on the back look. Yeah thank god for that. Yeah. Otherwise it would be there. Show the people the tummy cut. Not here but there. <laughs> um, Contoured tummy cut. Yes. Uh, strung through body. Yeah. Char charcoal black. Finish. Transparent thing. Yeah. Hole. Dent there. That they used to make these guitars without an input jack. <laughs> And then I did it out of the It begins! <coughs> Have you played Skyrim yet? No. You got a Skyrim for Christmas, but you still hasn't played it. I know. Why not? You know why? Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> right! Ghost is so light, I picked this up and it's all come back! Come back! Come back to it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got it. <laughs> Woo! This particular Telecaster is on special yeah, offer. This is the five string one. What, um, what's serial numbers? What serial yeah. numbers that one? <laughs> uh, this, I uh, can't remember, I've broken it off. Uh, this is serial number uh, CGF 11108755. Um, so if you get this one, I apologise. This is the, another um, modern player telly. A super popular one, this one now, because this is the F hole oh, uh, thin but, line. But... Can you hear that? <laughs> this one will be better. Maybe that one will be better. I don't know. There is a, a, a difference in yeah, tone. How are you supposed to tell? The difference in t there's just a difference in the way it makes a knocking noise. Knock, on, knock on one. Penny? Penny? <laughs> Penny? What? What is that from? <laughs> I think it looks like I Sheldon. <laughs> This here floaty, lovely piece of Telecaster windness is uh, the modern player uh, thin line, deluxe thin line, I think it is. Pablo might tell me shortly. Hold, hold it up, hold it up. The producer. Hold it up. I want to see if I can. Are you going to try and get the pick in the pick in the hole? Oh! How much? How much? <laughs> 
another beautiful, beautiful um, Telecaster here from the Modern Player range. This one, with the F-hole and the P90s, is reminding me of, uh, of um, a slightly more expensive Fender guitar called the Jim Adkins uh, JA90. Jim Adkins is in a band uh, that I can't remember what it's called now. That's the symbol you need to make when you see this guitar. That's the Steel Panther huh? symbol. It's, yeah. Two in the <laughs> one in the <laughs> Goodbye, Lime. So, Lee, tell me all about this amazing guitar from Fender, who make guitars. They do, uh, but only recently, no. Uh, so this is a solid, well, it's not a solid, model. let's start that again. So, Lee, tell me <laughs> everything you know about this Fender guitar by Fender, who make Fender guitars. Well, it's a mahogany-bodied guitar, but because it's a thin line, it's kind of, uh, this section of the guitar is hollowed out, so it's much lighter, and it does a, has a slightly sort of more resonant tone. Uh, we've got two uh, of the uh, P90 style pickups, which are, are sort of a cross between, well, halfway between like a humbucker and a single coil. Sort of uh, got the tonality, perhaps, of a single coil pickup, but with a bit more sort of oomph to them. Strung through the body with this sort of hardtail vintage style telebridge. Very sort of 70s uh, vibe to the hardware on here, the sort of top hat knobs and the, the style of the scratch plate. It's very much like a 70s sort of deluxe telecaster. Again, we've got the maple one-piece lacquered neck here. Really, really nice to play. Uh, nine and a half inch radius, C-shaped neck. So again, very traditional Fender style neck. And a three-way pickup. Two and, tones, two volumes. Yep. Uh, and I believe in multiple colors. I think you can get this in a couple of different colors. So go check the Anderson's website out. We've got some dirty marks on here that uh, where we just haven't taken the cellophane off yet. So um, oh, that's what it is. Um, and really, Again, hats off to Fender again for, for another excellent, excellent value, uh, good, you know, unusual. They keep doing it, don't they? They had a new CEO turn up in 2010, and he has literally set that place on fire. What was his name? Larry Thomas is his name. I've Larry him. Very nice guy. Used Thomas. to be the CEO of Guitar Center. And he's come in, and he said, going to do everything differently. Going to make more stuff, better stuff, more value, uh, better value, higher end, lower end, change the amps, it's just like, he's been a genius there. So yeah, the, it pretty much there's tons of new cool stuff coming from Fender and mm -hmm. tons more that I saw at the NAMM show. Every time we do a video of a guitar with a P90 in it, it's always my favourite. Yeah. The whole day. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dig out all the pickups on my guitar and just go and stick P90s in them instead. I really like P90s, but normally they're a little bit hummy. <coughs> but what I've noticed is that these aren't that hummy. Well, it, they will be if we put it on a gain sound, because that's the only downside with the P90s. It still is unfortunately a single coil pickup, so it, it will it will hum like a single coil. Um, but I just I like the fact that they've just got that little bit more bass end than a regular. Uh, single coil. Yeah. yeah. Um, but sorry to interrupt that rather luscious playing you're doing. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna edit the shit out of that. <laughs> oh no.
Great. Yeah, I do. Favourite guitar of the day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like that a lot. So cool. Anyway, I've been the captain. I've been Chappers. This has been Phil X's Plectrum. Everything that you've seen in this video is purchasable from your favourite music shop. Anderton's.co.uk. And uh, that's it now. It's the end of a long day. Bye.